what does it really mean to be passively aware in day to day life whenever someone tries to hit me personally reaction happens but the realization that the personality is defending is not instantaneous so how to maintain awareness in such instances when one feels personally attacked abrajita is saying she wants to maintain awareness in instances when she is attacked and should i read it to mean that you do not want to maintain awareness in instances when you are the attacker if you can get the incompleteness of your question you will realize why awareness eludes you awareness is total so you cannot get it in half you want to remain aware only in moments of crisis you want awareness to help you out only when you are attacked but when you are enjoying all kinds of pleasures then you do not want awareness do you when pain hits you then you cry out awareness awareness but in your moments of pleasure you forget all about ashtavakra and rumi and acharya ji you say now we are anyway happy and the aim of all spirituality is to give happiness so why do we now need spiritual help you are wrong aprajita spirituality is not about happiness spirituality is not about relief from pain spirituality before it ameliorates your pain does away with your pleasures look at your question you are saying how to maintain awareness in such instances see how you have qualified awareness see you how you have confined awareness you are saying when i am attacked then i want to be aware why and how many times a day are you attacked two times a day five times a day sometimes never in the day so in those specific instances you want awareness otherwise not and therefore you will have no awareness at all because you are asking for partial awareness and awareness cannot be partial you want to remain aware when you are attacked then remain aware when you are not attacked also remain aware when you are the attacker awareness has to be total the surrender has to be absolute you cannot wish for health only in the moments when the virus attacks you health will not suddenly come to you if you have been healthy then health will defend you when you are attacked besieged and if you have not been healthy then no point trying drastic and last moment tactics this is what mediocre students do don't they what to do now that the exams are on our head what have you been doing throughout the year son and now that the exams are upon you i will not advise you shortcuts and dirty tricks i would rather say miss an year but complete the course properly 
complete the course properly, be a good student. If you have been attentive throughout the year, the exams will not bother you. And no point asking about exams if you have not been a good student throughout the year. When anger strikes you or fear or suspicion, that is the moment when the slumbering consciousness wakes up a little. It realizes that it has been attacked. So it asks for help. That's almost like asking for help after the house has caught fire. Prevent the house from catching fire. That's almost like asking for a help after you have had a heart attack. Now that the cardiac arrest is there, what is the maximum that can be done? Great damage has already happened. Why not live a life in which the possibility of cardiac arrest is the minimum? Hmm? Be watchful. Look at how the body-mind machine operates. It's fun to watch. Watch regularly and watch especially when you are happy or pleased. Hmm? 